Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to enable and use guided access on your iPad Pro. So in order to enable guided access, load up settings, and you want to find here accessibility. And once you're in accessibility, you want to scroll down. So we'll scroll down until we see here guided access. Now if you do not see the accessibility tab here, you can find it under general, and then there'll be a tab for accessibility. So we just want to find guided access, and you're going to see guided access right here. Tap on it. And now it's going to be turned on so first of all you'll see here accessibility shortcut if this is turned off make sure you turn it on also on the passcode settings you want to set a guided access password so this is going to be whatever you would like just make sure you remember it it will be a different passcode than the one set on the operating system uh, such as the lock screen all right so once we have guided access turned on how do we use it well we need to activate it first so head over to the app you would like to activate guided access on so let's say the uh, photos app and then if you have a home button on your iPad Pro, triple click the home button and do this quickly. Okay, so click, click, click like that, not click, 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 just click, 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 and you'll be good to go. And if you have a non-home button iPad Pro, you triple click the power button real quick. So click, 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 and you can see guided access has been started. So what it will do is it will start guided access based on some settings you have enabled or disabled. However, we haven't had any options to enable disable settings right now. And so I'm not going to the home screen because guided access blocks it, even control center. But here's the deal. How do I change the settings? Well, here's what you do. You triple click on the power button or the home button again. So click, click, click. And we need to enter in your passcode. This is the one you set for guided access. And now we can change the options, right? So let's go to options here. And so if you would like touch enabled, so touch enabled, meaning I can swipe around uh, on the app, uh, you have touch on. If you like keyboards on, motions on, top bot uh, top uh, volume buttons on, uh, top button, if you're wondering, is the power button. They just renamed it. And if you would like a time limit, you can turn this all on or off. So if I turn off touch and we uh, tap on resume, you can see now, look at this, you can see here, I'm tapping on the screen, I'm sliding, nothing will move. So let's say you put a protractor as an image and you don't want the uh, the screen to be moving while you're tracing. Well, guess what? That is what you want to do. However, uh, you know, if you have some app open, you don't want some user to close out of the app, you just want them to stay in, then that's why you have the guided access on with touch on, right? So that's how you use it. If you ever want to end, you just triple click the power button or the home button, and then you see here end, tap into this one. And if you ever uh, want to stop using guided access for good, just make sure the accessibility shortcut is turned off inside the settings. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.